One week from today, the globe will experience a solar eclipse, our second in seven years. Some parts of the U.S. will be in the so-called path of totality. That's a level of darkness we won't get here in southern Nevada. Fox 5's Les Griffin spoke with a local expert to tell us what we can expect to see or not to see on that day. A solar eclipse usually happens somewhere on the Earth almost every year. The last eclipse in the southwest was in 2017, and it was a bit of a bust because on that day, we had rain and a whole lot of cloud. The big question many people are asking, will we see totality? We should uh, uh, get about 60% of the normal sunlight uh, that, that we're used to seeing at that time of day. Andrew Kerr heads the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada's North Anybody Las Vegas campus. He's looking forward to the solar eclipse, even though we will not experience totality because of where we are located and the path of the eclipse. We're not. We're only going to get about 51% of the sun covered. On April the 8th, the eclipse will begin over the South Pacific, will cross into North America, passing over Mexico, the central U.S., and Canada. Here's a track of the solar eclipse when the moon will start to pass in front of the sun. That maximum eclipse, which is going to occur around 1120 in the morning, uh, is only going to be a few minutes long. So to avoid having to look up at the sun, which you really shouldn't do unless you have the proper protection, this is what you can expect. The solar eclipse begins a little bit after 10 o'clock in the morning. We are not in totality, so at best we're only going to see about 51% of the sun covered by the moon. And then by the time it's all said and done at around 12, 30 in the afternoon. This is what will be seen up in the sky if you have the proper protection for your eyes. Our sky will darken closer to daylight that we experience around 6 o'clock in the evening at this time of the year. And that is the moment when the moon and the sun will align in the sky. The eclipse occurs because the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon, but also 400 times farther away. The entire moon covers the entire disk of the sun. And that's when we get a total eclipse. Usually with a solar eclipse, the temperature cools, but according to Kerr, it shouldn't by much. Even during totality, you, you might see like a five to six, five to 10, I guess, uh, degree drop. But uh, since we're only gonna have about 50% of the sun covered, we'll, it might be noticeable, but for most folks, probably not. It's also important to remember looking up at the sun anytime is not a good idea, but especially during a solar eclipse, it could permanently damage your eyesight. Also, with only 51% coverage here, there will be no visible corona, the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere that can usually be seen during a solar eclipse. And finally, any chance of experiencing the eclipse will also be weather dependent. During the last solar eclipse in the summer of 2017, it rained and there were heavy clouds in the valley, so it turned out to be a bust. The planetarium at CSN will be streaming a NASA feed on the solar eclipse and will have special telescopes and even solar glasses available for anyone who wants to experience it. Les Griffin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.